Osaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or the Whale. Apparently the corp figured it wasn't safe in Japanese waters, afraid some local fishermen might harpoon it for scientific research. But honestly, it's quite the power move. Wonder what Militech will respond with. Maybe Myers will fly a rust bucket B-17 flying fortress over Arasaka HQ. Ooh, man, that's... that is... insensitive. I am so sorry, where are my manners? Misty, I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. Good evening, Night City. My first guest tonight is the Look. president of the church. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deets. Praise be to me, our Father in Heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip Band program, which promotes the use of cybernetic internet. Good luck joining you, beautiful. Ziggy. Thanks for having me. stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. So Gotta be what? some kind of scam. Gonna have a word with the super. Oh yeah. What is it then? Just later. Can you just fuck off already?
Oh, V. Did you get any sleep? Ah, no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's biomon. No, neurovirus or... Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping, he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in, fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military boss. Got a sweet deal. And a tumor mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch. Gonna take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. The only way he communicates is with them fists. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct to good edge. You can go far, especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or once. Not yet. You can start in Kaboom. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of.
all moves. Provides 330% of rest. Hello. It's time for your local news. The Arata. Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exquisite multi story Dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation, and in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. After the break, cyber psychosis, myth or reality. Stay tuned. to today's local news on N54. I'm Jillian Jordan. For the third consecutive year, Militech has been touted as Night City's best corporation to work for. This prestigious award can be attributed to the numerous employee benefits they have, such as five paid vacation days a year, unlimited access to stimulant pharmaceuticals, and Exactly. All right, let's see what you got. What I like to hear. considered a warning shot, a change that should keep officers safer. The Night City Office of Cybernetic Technology has been formally dissolved as a result of budget cuts. The office formerly responsible for implant certification will shutter its doors next Tuesday. The administrators of implant authorization are now the manufacturers, guided by the standards they themselves have established. Thank you for joining our here at N54 News. We'll see you next time. Mr. Star, all night, every night. Don't be soft. Upgrade. enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. I mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or... Just had a brain fart. Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. 
300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. I'm glad you're here. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. All right, let's see what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a dude of his own. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Oh, you know. Brought your wheels. Get to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. You're the ones they chose for that meeting. First stop, Cooper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vicks anyhow. I got a date. Yeah, Miss D. Don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. Fry as ever, you old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> a 
really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy, then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and... How's why? And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? 
Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. For the scanner. Take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er-did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, forget where you came from. Chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. And I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm.
yo, Mr. V. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? somebody where you fizzle out into nothing. Night City don't let you choose. Oh, but it does. See, in my line of work, I choose to be Mr. Chill. But folk who try to take advantage, well, they see the beast inside. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, Got a special little pre-mission just for you, but we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shipstream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. 
I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop. Then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a dog, yeah. Glimp to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clepped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right. Heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Who Parker did? wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex think. gave me the nod. Huh. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Hasta luego. Hey, ten cuidado.
You squared away. Then an arch? Oh, damn. What a beaut. Yeah, got her cheap, too. Dorset job to the dead. Hmm. Don't know how you could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. Then an arch? Oh, damn. What a beaut. Yeah, got her cheap, too. Dorset job to the dead. Hmm. Don't know how you could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the Gangoons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right, the strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast then? Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. I hate these Borg fuckers. It's had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? Now take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. Stout here. Start by telling you know me what you they got want, the number. how they get it. No more than your number. Pisses them the fuck off. Heard you misplaced the convoy. Maelstrom? You shut him never up. know. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Go on. Let them know we're here. Hello? The fuck is this? Ring a ding ding. -dum. Nuh uh. Not on the Gotta horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Me, hey, what you waiting for? Ring a ding ding, Chom. Gotta get this done. Talk to Royce. Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. We could use a few plants, though. 